Okay, now I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually set up a meta object and use it. So I'm going to create a promo banner. So I'm going to add a definition. I'm going to add it and we're going to call it promo banner. And we're going to add all the fields that we'll need for a promo banner. So the first thing we're going to need is an image. So we're going to call it desktop image. It's going to be a file and it's going to be only the type image. And we're going to add that. Then we're also going to have a separate mobile image because I think, you know, things look better when they're, they have a whole different image. It's hard to get them to look better. Mobile image. And then we're going to have a single line text as a title. And then we're going to have, let's go for the rich text or the text just in case. And then we're going to have a button text. So that's going to be single line. And then we're going to have a button link. So we're going to click URL for this. Okay, so we have our meta field set up. That was very simple. And then we're going to start adding entries. So we're going to add a promo banner entry. So we're going to select the desktop image. We're going to select the mobile image. Put in the title. We're going to put in our button text. I really wish that the link would let you like select from inside the store, but it's not doing that. Maybe someday. The other thing that you can do is you can edit the handle if you want to make it easier. I mean, big sale is fairly straightforward, but you can edit it here because sometimes it's just random numbers depending on the nature of how this works out. And then we're going to save this. So now we have an entry for our promo banner. We can have multiple entries, but the other exciting thing is that we can also use this multiple times. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a meta field definition on the product. So we'll go to the product, add a definition for the pro banner. This is how we're connecting it to the product. And then we select the type and then we select the reference to meta object. And then we have to select the type. So the type is the promo banner. So this is how the meta object is connected to the meta field. And then we save here and then we need to go to the product and we go here and then we see the promo banner is here and we can select an entry and we only have one so we select that. So then when we get to the editor we click on connect dynamic source and then we can see the meta object is here and we connect and we grab the desktop image for here and then same thing with the mobile image. And then when we go to the banner title, instead of having the banner title here, we delete that, grab this promo banner, and we go title. And then here we go promo banner text, and then we get rid of this. And then when we get to the buttons, we remove this and we add the dynamic source here, promo banner button text and then for the link instead of clicking in there we go here promo banner button url and now everything's set up now the great thing about this is that if we wanted to say add this promo banner to the collection we would just have to create the meta field for the collection and say promo banner here select type go down to the meta object again we just grab the promo banner type and then save and then when we go to the collection here we can go here and we can grab the exact same entry and then just reset up the banner anywhere so it's not only that we can set up the data but we can now reuse the data and i think that's very exciting